Welcome back people, I thought this video might help a couple of you since I ran into a tricky situation the other day, corrupted files and I swear these cameras are trolling me, so a quick rundown, I was shooting with a two camera setup and recording a training day so the cameras were constantly recording for hours on end until the media was full or the battery was dying, which is where I ran into the problem, trying to time the battery change to be quick and efficient doesn't always work, sometimes you have to take time. So I stopped the recording and more or less took the battery out immediately and noticed the buffer icon on screen last minute but it was too late to go back and this happened twice on the shoot but I didn't think anything of it until uploading the footage and I noticed I had two RSV files, one 30 gig and one 13 gig and no playback. But it turns out RSV files are a way of Sony holding unfinished video data when the clip doesn't finish rendering so the footage wasn't gone, it was somewhere in the abyss and I just needed it back. So I jumped on YouTube and started researching and this was music to my ears. I hadn't lost the footage, I just needed to recover it and it had my main audio so I was pretty f On my research I found Marbu who had the same issue. Go and check out his video on YouTube, it proper helped me out. And, um, but he had some issues I didn't. But the software I used was Wondershare Recover It. And I'm always skeptical about these online softwares because who knows if they're going to work or not. Since I didn't have a better choice, I downloaded it and tried. So there's an option here for corrupted video repair. I just dragged and dropped the smaller clip in at first to see what happens. And to be honest, it didn't seem like much. I got, about, I got to about 99% and it was like it had frozen. And I'd done this twice. But on the second time, I just left it and then a preview appeared. And this gives you playback. So I knew we was back in the game. I downloaded the file straight away and started the big file, the 50 gig. This took all night. One thing I noticed when downloading the files is it rapidly gets to 80% and then after there, that's when it starts to write the new file. So you can see the previous recovery files and the date I recovered them. But what we're doing right now is we are uploading another file from the same day we recorded so it can copy the camera settings, match the camera settings with that. Perfect. And this is the preview screen. So you would have to make an account and subscribe to them, but you can purchase a week subscription, which is what I used and very helpful. I thought we was in the clear once the files were downloaded and we were almost there. The audio was 44 frames behind, so I had to resync the audio in both clips and then I could finally relax. So yeah, I hope this video helps you and if you have any questions, just let me know.